Hello, and welcome to another episode of The Unprofessional Painter. I am unboxing something today from Grabby. Now, I have seen some very critical reviews of Grabby boxes on YouTube. And so I'm going to give you my honest, albeit unprofessional opinion of this box. Okay, so first of all, I hate watching somebody else take things out of a box. So I'm going to make two videos. I'm going to make one where I just show you me taking it out of the box. And then I'm going to make one where I just show you what came in the box. But anyway, uh, in true unprofessional painter fashion... Welcome to my studio. This is where I paint. It's where I unbox. It's where I relax. And uh, it, it's not fancy. It's a white plastic folding table in my living room. So let's open up the grabby box. First of all, the grabby boxes are pretty. They have nice designs. Uh, we like the designs on the grabby boxes. Um, and they're sturdy and they come wrapped in a bubble wrap uh, with a return address from Jane. So, this is coming through Jane, which is fine. I uh, just wanted you to know. Let's open it up. This is the November Craft Box. Okay? And I don't get the, uh, the, the scrapbooking. They have three boxes. They have the scrapbooking box, the crafter art box, and then they have one called Stained Hands. Uh, I have tried... All three, and I'm definitely uh, prefer the art crafter box. So it comes like this, and you, it has the month that you're getting it stamped on the tissue. And you just bust that sucker open. Get you a beverage. Get you a beverage, okay? I have my vodka right here, and it makes opening this box a lot more fun. Now, um, first of all, you get a sticker. Now... I don't care about stickers. Uh, that's one of those things everybody, uh, other box makers put stickers in their boxes and I just, nah. Okay. Then you get this flyer that tells you what's in here. So it doesn't really have instructions and that's been one of the criticisms I've seen of them, but Honest to God, what are you doing with a box like this if you don't know what to do with it? Or if you don't even know how to play with it, you're not going to be happy with anybody's box. Okay, so anyway, this tells you what you're going to get. All right, so what I got is this, let's see, wire-bound marker sketchbook. And it's... Pretty thick paper, pretty good paper in there. Um, somebody put a little airplane on the open cover. It's got pockets. Um, it's got two pockets in the front and pockets in the back. Very nice book, good for travel. I'm going away this weekend for my son's wedding, and so I might just throw this box in the car with me. Next thing is you've got some liner markers, pigment liner markers. Uh, you know what? You know what? I said this was a wire-bound marker sketchbook. It is not. There is one in the bottom of this box. This is called your 100% cotton watercolor travel journal, and it's 120-pound paper, so it, it's nice. Then you get these liner pens, the stay pigment liner pens. Um, there's a set of nine in the box. And they're in all different sizes. And uh, I love me some liner pens now. You, you give me some liner pens and uh, a book to draw in, and I'm a happy girl. You got um, 0 0.1, 0 0.8, 0 0.6, 0 0.4, 0.05. 0 0.2, 0 0.5, and 0 0.3. So you got a really nice collection here of, um, and a brush pen. You've got a, a brush pen. So this is good. Then you've got some more markers. These are 
dual tip alcohol based markers and let's see I'm not sure how many of those we get let me count those okay so three six nine three six nine eleven oh nope 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 here's twelve okay you get twelve markers in these pretty colors uh, I will swatch them as I do with all my art boxes, I always swatch everything and keep it with the kit so I know exactly what colors I'm dealing with, but I'm not going to do that in real time here. Here is your wire-bound sketch marker sketchbook. It's got nice smooth marker paper in it. This is be nice for travel too. I might take this to the wedding and it's got like a little protected plastic cover on it. Very nice. And then finally, you get this set of, let me move that box. You get this set of glitter gel ink pens. Uh, it says vivid colors, shimmering metallic ink, acid free and smooth rollerball nib. Now this is the Grabby brand, it says premium on it. Um, I This is about my fourth or fifth grabby box that I've gotten. It's the first one I'm really making a video about. Uh, the, the pens and things that come with them are good quality. They're, they may be an, a, a no-name brand and grabby may have bought these somewhere and had their uh, name stuck on them, but I haven't had any issues with things in the grabby boxes. It does say the tips are between 0.8 and 1 millimeter. Take one out. It's a ballpoint pen. It's a gel pen. No, no, nothing, nothing horrible, nothing extra special, just gel pens. Now, all in all, you get 12 glitter gel pens, 12 alcohol markers. I'm not trying to make this pretty. You get your your, uh, your travel sketchbook, you get your watercolor sketchbook, and you get your liner pens. And if you, it's really important to you, you get that damn sticker. I, I again, I, I, I don't do anything with the stickers. I usually throw them away. Um, but in any case, my uh, assessment of the box is it's a good box. Now... I subscribed, so it's, I believe it's $45.99 a month plus shipping. So it's about $51, $52. Um, I'm not unhappy with it. I'm just not a, that big of a marker artist. I'm more of a painter. So I would have preferred paint. But let me just show you some things I've gotten in past grabby boxes. I got these cute little watercolor sets. Okay. Um, comes with a little swatch card, and you got your little watercolors. They're stuck in these little Altoid size tins. Very handy. Um, what else have I gotten from grabby in the past? Uh, oil pastels. Paul Rubens brand oil pastels. Um, you get... So many colors. Um, I, 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 they're not going to send you professional artist quality stuff. You're not paying for that. A set of these should be $30 if you're getting really good artist quality uh, materials. And, and they can't do that and make money for themselves too. But I really uh, liked these because it got me drawing with oil pastels and I never had. So I made this little campfire scene. And I would not have done that had I not gotten this grabby box. So I think it's a great way to try new art supplies. I am going to um, continue to make videos and share with you the boxes that I get. Thank you for watching. You have been listening to The Unprofessional Painter. Take care.